Well, here we are still engaged in this social distance and in some cases quarantine situation. Since that's true, I want to assure you that our staff at Insight for Living cares very much for one another and we care the same for you. After all, we are Insight for Living. We're all about the life of one another. We still receive your letters and your comments by email. We receive your donations and appreciate every one of them. We are here for you and we always will be. Let me assure you of that, even though there are warnings about not being close to one another, we feel close to you as we operate as we do in absentia. We're in all of this together. So let's do our best to remember that word together. Insight for Living is a family. We're connected with you in so many ways, most of it electronically. But that does not mean we feel a distance from you. We want you to know how much we care about you. When you send us your prayer requests, we take that seriously. When you let us know about what you're going through, we share that with one another. And we remember that before the Lord. When you send your donations, we watch over every part of that, knowing that this is God's money to be handled for His glory and with great integrity. Thank you for entrusting us with your gifts. Let me assure you of our prayers for you and our interest in your lives. Early this morning, I was reading the comforting words from David's Psalm number 32, verses 6 through 8 in the New Living Translation, where we find these words. Let all the godly pray to you while there is still time, that they may not drown in the floodwaters of judgment. For you are my hiding place. You protect me from trouble. You surround me with songs of victory. The Lord says, I will guide you along the best pathway for your life. I will advise you and watch over you. May those inspired words from God's word bring you fresh hope, renewed stability, and a calming reassurance during these challenging days. Thank you for remaining a part of our Insight for Living family. Let's not let any of the current situation change any of that. Let's stay in touch. We want to be in touch with you, and we look forward to your staying in touch with us.